Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Dr. Hasi, and today I'm going to cover a chapter 25 shoot system. If, if be sure to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the subscribe button on your screen. So let's get started. Okay, so shoot system is the above ground part of the vascular plants. The young stems develops the, um, the germinating seedling from originally from the hypercardial. Basic functions, structural support, growth through increase in diameter, elongation, transport of fluids and between the roots and the leaves. So the stem is the major part of the plant shoot system. Um, the stem is made of nodes and inner nodes. The, uh, the continuous the continuing um, system. Um, cell divisions, um, it can be anticlinal or periclinal cell divisions. They both contribute. Um, basically, tunica, which is the layer one and um, layer two, layer two, which layer one, which is actually uh, forming the epidermis, layer two generating the cell layers beneath epidermis. They are actually both tunica part of the shoot epicondyl stem. Corpus is the layer three, which is uh, which is the below layer. Tunica uses anticlinal cell division, while um, Corpus can be used can be using both anti and periclinal. Um, so there are three types of stem and stem anatomy in seed plants. Um, they could be monocots, you see here scattered. They could be dicots organized in a ring, and they could be conifers or some other dicots or uh, organized but also united like in a vascular cylinder. Um, so. There are a lot of examples of dicots and uh, monocot plants showing this uh, cross-section uh, typical anatomy. Leaf trace is a vascular bundle which diverges from the axial bundles uh, in the stem and enters in its leaf. If there is a leaf trace, there is always a leaf gap. Modified stems are stems that they are botanically stems, but they are not, they don't necessarily look like the stems. Uh, like rhizome, tuber, bulb, corn, stolon, thorn, and gliophils. Um, leaf is of course a major part of the um, major part of the stem and primary photosynthetic organs. Leaves uh, come from originally uh, they come from leaf primordia of uh, we, we learn in the earlier chapters. Um, there are two types of leaves, microfields is very simple leaves we see in Lycophyta with one single vein. Mega fields we see in um, ferns and old seed plants, which are meg, uh, mega fields, again, multiple veins. Um, leaves can be sun leaves, shade leaves. Leaf can, can have abscission, carnivore leaves, hydrophytes, xerophytes. Leaf can be simple, co compound. Simple is just one single blade. Compound is several blades. They are called leaflets that uh, again a uh, compound leaf. Leaf anatomy is a typical C3 photosynthesis. Leaf anatomy is uh, we see upper epidermis, uh, we see palisade mesophyll, and we see spongy mesophyll, xylem, phloem, and lower epidermis. Um, and again here um, in, uh, we can see a very distinct uh, palisade mesophyll layer here in C3 plants. Um, plants that they live in water, they are called hydrophytes. They have large amount of water around them. Plants they adapt to the dry areas, they are called xerophytes. So here's a water lily uh, as hydrophyte, and here is a nerium oleander plant with the xerophyte. C4 leaf uh, structure don't have this palisade mesophyll. This is also called Kranz anatomy. Um, leaves also have stomata. In both sides, but especially in, in the lower epidermis, they are made of guard cells, and um, they basically open and close. And uh, what opens stomata? Daytime potassium in guard cells, water in guard cells. What closes them? The opposite, basically, can close them. When they open, they exchange water, oxygen, and CO2 between it. Um, a typical C3 uh, grass uh, has uh, basically C4 grass has a uh, bulliform cells which are uh, the cells here you see on the, on the upper epidermis here. Modified leaves also are, uh, they are botanically leaves, but they, 
they are not necessarily look like leaves, needles, bracts, um, onion, um, onion, onion parts of the onion scales, um, tendrils, spines, and um, trichomes are modified leaves. Why leaves change color? Leaves change color because chlorophyll actually breaks down because of the temperature drop down and other, uh, other pigments actually can show up and all the other colors show up. After that, the next step is leaf abscission. Water stress can increase the ABA levels and then they can start initiating cellular changes and abscission and then actually cut the leaf from here, from the abscission layer and a protective layer covers it up. That concludes our shoot system video and see you in next video.